Ibnu Ashati was the most distinguished Muslim astronomer of the 14th century, although he was heard muakia at the Umayyad Mosque in Damascus, responsible for the regulation of the astronomically defined times of prayer. His works on astronomical timekeeping are considerably less significant than those of his college Khalili. On the other hand, Ibn Ashati continuing the tradition of Ibn Asaraj made substantial advances in the design of astronomical instruments. Nevertheless, his most significant contribution to astronomy was his planetary theory. In his planetary models, Ibn Ashatir incorporated various ingenious modifications of those of Ptolemy. Also, with the reservation that they are geocentric, his models are the same as a number used by Nicholas Copernicus. Ibn Ashatir's planetary theory was investigated for the first time in the 1950, and the discovery that his models were mathematically identical to those of Copernicus raised the very interesting question of a possible transmission of his planetary theory to Europe. This question has since been the subject of a number of investigation, but research on the astronomy of Ibn Ashatir and of his sources, let alone on the later influence of his planetary theory in the Islamic world or Europe, is still at a preliminary stage. It is known, however, that Copernicus Mercury model is that of Ibn Ashatid and that Copernicus did not properly understand it. His name is Ala Adid Abu Hassan Ali Ibn Ibrahim Ibn Ashatid, but he is often called Ibn Ashatid. A Damascus scientist who was an expert in astronomy, born in 1304 century AD and died in 1375 century AD. He was an Arab Muslim astronomer, mathematician, mechanical engineer, and inventor. He was also one of the new astronomers who led mankind to a new picture of the universe. Moreover, he has also succeeded in paving the way for the crowd of the seeds of civilization of the outer space era as we know it in modern times as it is today. Contribution with the knowledge and discoveries, Ibn Shatir reformed the Ptolemaic system and created his own heliocentric lunar model which is later on popularized in 16th century by Nicholas Copernicus. Second, he compiled a set of tables displaying the values of certain spherical astronomical functions relating to the times of prayer. And he designed and constructed a horizontal sundial that was erected on the northern minaret of the Umayyad in Damascus. Ibn Shatir invented a lot of astronomical instruments in his time, such as astrolab or what he called Al-A'la Al-Jami'a, Polar Axis Sundial, Compass Diet, and Compendium.